Hey everyone, it's Carly and welcome here to my 10 life essentials. Me and Sebastian have been watching GQ's essentials videos all day long and it was actually Sebastian's idea to share with you guys some of my essentials because we were actually sharing them with each other at the kitchen table when we were having our lunch. So we thought it would be fun just to uh, turn on my camera, collect all of my essentials and share them with you guys because I've been fascinated and it's a fun thing to do especially right now while we're in our homes and we're surrounded by the things that we truly do have already I didn't have to buy any of this stuff I didn't have to overthink these were just things that I know that I love and that I need in my house to feel good and comfortable and so I thought I'd share them with you and feel free to share your essentials down below I would love to see if we match up with any of these and if you guys are new and like this video definitely consider subscribing I would love to have you here on my channel and let's hop right in so the first essential I thought I would talk about because it's sitting in front of me and it's what I start my day with every single morning and that is my iced vanilla latte I didn't really want to be that person that said like an iced coffee but truly an iced coffee is an essential of mine I wake up wanting it I go on vacation wanting it I plan my vacations around it it just is so exciting the act of getting a coffee to me is essential <laughs> so cheers to our iced vanilla lattes mm. Mm -mm -mm. okay next up is an essential probably we all share but that is my cell phone i am a big phone person i love my phone it has my friends on it. it has my family if i can't get in touch with them and see them in person like right now um it just has everything my entertainment my inspiration my music you get the point. I could literally, I could do YouTube on here if I needed to. It's just an amazing tool and I know that we need to have good healthy relationships with our phone which is why I do have a meditation app on there so we have some balance. Uh, but yeah, I mean my phone comes with me everywhere and it's like my lifeline. I love it and I couldn't do anything without my phone. <laughs> I was kind of nervous to share these two because it's two, but I couldn't break away from either of them. I am someone that is such a lip person. I need lipstick on, I need lip gloss, chapstick, whatever it is, I like it on my lips. I do not like having bare lips. It just stresses me out. So I couldn't pick, so I thought I would just do two and hopefully that's okay. The first thing is actually a lipstick and the reason I'm saying this is because this truly is an essential. If you've been watching me for a little bit, you guys know how much I love the Ulta Beauty, barely there cream lipstick and I've never finished a lipstick in my whole life like I didn't even know that lipsticks have an end because I just like them and then I buy a new one and a new one but this one is a game changer it stops me in my tracks every single time I go to find a lip shade and I'm almost done I'm nearly done and if they don't have this shade I don't know what I'm gonna do it is my ultimate go-to lip shade it's the perfect everyday lip and it is one that I truly go to every single time I do my makeup, besides today, but that's besides the point. <laughs> my next one is another one that you guys might not be surprised at. This is the GlossierBomb.com. I have multiple, multiple of these, um, and the coconut one seems to be my new favorite. It tastes so yummy and sweet. The mint is also great and refreshing. That's my go-to, and then they have an original, and I always repurchase these, and I have to have them every day because it saves me moving on to skincare i thought i would share just one staple that i love i do love all things skincare and beauty but my go-to has to be my vitamin c i love vitamin c serum it's something that i think is so worth all of the money and all the experimenting it's just my favorite thing to try out and test and it does so many great things for your skin and i love it and recommend it to everybody and this one is actually by artistry it's the intensive skincare it's a new one i'm trying um but yeah any sort of vitamin c that you can get your hands on get it because it's my favorite skincare and it does wonders for my skin and it makes me feel really good and I couldn't do my skincare without it. Next up on the list is a nice pair of jeans. I love a good tight high-waisted jean. There's nothing like it. It's a perfect daytime look. It's a perfect errand, date night, whatever kind of look. If you have a good jean that really sucks you in and it can just like form perfectly to your body because we all have that jean that does that perfectly for us. That is my go-to. I love these jeans by Zara. These are the, 
Ooh, I don't know exactly which ones they are, but I will link them down below. And yeah, they're just a nice high-waisted jean. Honestly, if you have whatever type of brand of jean that you love, as long as it's high-waisted, I feel like you can't go wrong. I just love a nice light wash jean. It's perfect for the summer. It's perfect for the fall and winter. It is just a staple that I always grab. And once I have a good pair of jeans, I'm not going back. So I had to include these. My next item is a pack of gum. Oh, I am known for always having gum, loving gum, needing gum. It is my go-to in my bag. And my favorite is the extra long lasting brand and I like their peppermint. But as long as it's gum, I kind of will chew it all. So if I'm in a dire need of a stick of gum, I will have it. But for the most part, I have my backups, um, my Costco stock of extra gum. And it's just, it's amazing. I love to have like a nice clean mouth and having gum before any sort of interaction with someone is very important. So. I just love it. Also, it's sticking within the mouth region because I am a big smile person. I want my mouth to be clean and taken care of and I just love oral hygiene. So my new favorite thing in the whole wide world is my tongue scrubber. And I heard about these on YouTube and just from other people that I follow and I kind of didn't know if I needed one. It didn't really seem, I kind of did the whole thing with your toothbrush. This has been a game changer. I love it. It's so satisfying. It's kind of a little bit, I don't think it's gross. Sebastian kind of thought it was gross at the beginning, but it's so satisfying to scrape your tongue and just really make it clean. And it makes such a difference in the way that your mouth feels and the way that your tongue feels. And I just got this on Amazon and I'm obsessed with it. I got Sebastian one as well. And we are big fans of the tongue scrubber. Another essential of mine is a bath <laughs> which i couldn't include the bath in my video so i thought i would just include some of the things that make my baths so amazing and relaxing i probably take a bath every other day sometimes every day if the week is stressful but my favorite item for a good bath is a good epsom salt and my favorite brand is just good old dr teal's i love their bath salts i also love their bubbles it's just nice you can get it at the drugstore it's easy to find they come in a nice big package they're affordable and they really do make your bath so calming and relaxing and it just gives it that element of like it just gives it that element of what is the word? Pizzazz. <laughs> Pizzazz, that's it. <laughs> it just gives it that element of, like now I can't say it without thinking of pizzazz. <laughs> it just gives it that element of relaxation and just luxury. Luxury? What the f Luxury. Luxury, thank you. I love it so much. And one of my new favorite scents from them is the um, balance and calm with matcha green tea and it is a good one so I definitely recommend running to your CVS picking up a nice big package and running yourself a good bath because I'm telling you that's a night something I love to do in the bath and also out of the bath is read I'm a big reader and this is the book I'm currently reading right now little women and it's a classic novel and I'm really enjoying it but yeah any type of book I really do love I love the aspect of having a book um, and it's just it's a fun challenge to have and uh, it's something I picked up earlier this year and I've really been enjoying it a lot so it's a huge essential to my night routine to my daily routine an activity to do get your brain stimulated um, I just find it so exciting and I look forward to finishing and starting a new book every single time I pick one up and my last essential is very important these are fuzzy socks I am such a sock wearer I wear them all the time I'm always cold we have tile in our house if I'm ever on the tile my little toes get so cold and it freaks me out so I always like to have my feet nice and warm and a fuzzy sock is definitely the way to go and so these ones i believe i got for christmas and they have cute little flamingos on them they're very sweet sebastian got them for me i'm not super picky so you can get me any kind um as long as it's fuzzy and chunky i love it so so those are my 10 at home essentials hopefully you guys enjoyed kind of getting a peek at the things that make my house 
enjoyable <laughs> and these really are some of my favorite things and something I gravitate to all of the time and need to feel myself and at home. Let me know some of your essentials down below and don't forget to subscribe and give the video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!